Google Glass were the first ever smart augmented reality glasses to be sold to the public. It was supposed to be the perfect way to overlay the digital world on top of the real one. But then Google called it quits several years ago. Now there's a new pair of glasses that attempt to pick up where Google Glass left off. It's called the Buzix Blade, and it'll cost almost $1,000. Buzix is a company that's been making augmented reality glasses for a number of years now. It has primarily sold its products to businesses for manufacturing or remote technical support. But the Blade is a smaller, slimmer pair of glasses made for consumers. The idea behind the Blade is not to be an augmented reality headset like the HoloLens or Magic Leap, which are fairly bulky and designed for specific use cases like games or industrial applications. Instead, the Blade is meant to be something of a smartphone replacement. So you can use the blade to stay in touch with the world while keeping your phone in your pocket. Basically, it promises the same thing as a smartwatch, except it lives on your face. Unlike glass, the blade was designed to look and feel like a normal pair of glasses. However, it's still pretty chunky and not very fashionable. The glowing light is a dead giveaway I'm wearing something unusual on my face. You can also take prescription lenses and other nose bridge fittings, so you can truly make it your everyday pair if you want. Another difference from glass, whereas Google's headset floated a tiny display to the corner of your eye, the Blade has a full-color see-through screen that takes center stage in the right lens. It can even be moved around and repositioned within your field of view. The Blade uses a proprietary operating system called Blade OS, but it's actually based on Android. You use the touchpad on the side of the glasses to swipe and tap your way around. The glasses can also be used without a phone, thanks to Wi-Fi connectivity but it works much better when paired to your Android or iOS smartphone. It has all of your usual smartphone notifications like calendar reminders and incoming messages, like a smartwatch would. The one way in which the Blade differs from smartwatches is that it has a built-in 8 megapixel camera in the corner that can be used to take photos and record video. When the camera app is on, a red light indicator will appear so that everyone knows that it's activated. Snapping a photo is as easy as tapping that touchpad. One especially useful feature is that the Blade works with Alexa. So instead of using the touchpad to navigate, you can just use your voice. It sort of works like a mini Echo Show, in that you can use it to ask for the weather, check your day's appointments, and play songs on Spotify. As mentioned, the Blade really does feel more like a heads-up display than an augmented reality headset. Yet, Vuzix does promise that eventually you'll be able to interact and point at virtual objects in the real world. You could theoretically point at a movie poster for the trailer to start playing in your view, for example. The Blade also comes with its very own app store. Some of those apps include a web browser and a few games. Some of the included games are pretty silly though. For example, there's a racing game that uses the touchpad for controls. Tapping the side of your head to race a car just feels really awkward and weird. Still, Music promises that eventually you'll be able to do more with the Blade. You could potentially use it for step-by-step -step walking directions or watching video clips on YouTube, or, as I mentioned, browsing the web. Unfortunately, at the time of this recording, a lot of the Blade's features were not fully baked. I didn't have a chance to test Alexa or the browser or a lot of other apps. But Vuzix has promised to ship all of these features in the coming weeks, and by that I'll hopefully be able to give you a thorough follow-up of the Vuzix Blade. Check back on Engadget.com for more.